What is going on, everyone? Mystic for Mystical Tomes. Hope you guys are having a great week. I actually started my first day at my new job. It's fantastic. Today, after a long day of work and after having an awesome meal, I'm going to be having a reaction of Lords of the Fallen official announcement trailer from GamesCon Online 2022. I'm assuming that's what it is. And this is actually from GameSpot, so go check them out and show them the same love you guys showed me every single day, and I'm very blessed by that. And if you guys like my reaction... And my commentary and me breaking it down and what I like, dislike, or otherwise, please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and bell notification in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So, without further ado, let's get started. Nice. After an age of the cruelest tyranny, man finally defeated its overlord. The gods. Do not fall. I remember that hand from part one or the original. The champions of war united. Oh, I'm sure they did. And began the eternal watch over their tyrant's colossal remains. Mm, yeah, the holy people. Yeah, right. Some forces, even death, cannot end. But now, eons later. The fallen's influence pervades. Oh, the world this is again, such a good idea. Even sworn enemies. To join his yeah. cursed wards of the Uh huh. It's all crumbling down now. To a new age of devastation. Though from these dark. So you basically had three pillars of light, one bad corrupted fucking thing from the demonic horde, and already two out of three is already corrupted these so-called warriors of light or beacons of light i already know two of two out of three of them have already been corrupted and if you guys have ever played lords of the fallen which i have the first one or the original one uh you know if you know you know that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna ruin it for you if you want to go play it and watch what happens at the very end of it or watch the gameplay of it uh i suggest watching it on youtube or if you just want to watch the full thing watch the full thing but yes um this is going to happen, and there's probably going to be one dude that started all of it, that told the one person who was holding the corrupt crystal or whatever, oh, you can purify it or something. I don't know the full story on it, but all I know is the first one was an amazing game. This looks like even a better, even more amazing game, because it's next gen. Darkest days, new heroes arrive. Oh, boy. To defy Spinhead, let's go. You must embrace the darkness. So lies our own oh, here we go. Great song. Oh, please tell me that's a boss, not a miniature boss. Nice! That was sexy. That was sexy, man. That was. Okay. Does this guy have like four arms? Yeah, he's got four arms. That that's gonna be a fun freaking time. Keep rolling, dude. Roll and dodge. Roll and dodge. That guy literally was taking the soul out of that demon lord, and he goes, "That's cute." <laughs> that's basically the look on his face. He's like, "Oh, oh gotcha." Like what Cell did to Vegeta when he ascended. But yeah, no, this that was such a great part right there. That was funny as all hell. Main character thought he got him. Not today. And I really hope that actually gives a lot of, a lot of deceit in the game. So it's almost like the Soul of Cinder of Dark Souls 2. You think you beat him. You're getting close to beating him. And all of a sudden, they have a second freaking health bar on there. So I hope that's the case. And it just gets harder and harder and harder per boss. Uh, each time you fight a different boss because that's what I liked in the original game they had unique bosses and it was separate from Dark Souls and a lot of these games now they have a lot of Dark Souls vibes on them because Dark Souls was the you know progenitor of all these other games taking small little elements however uh, Lords of the Fallen did the same thing but they made it its own video game with this I don't know if this is a prequel or pre-sequel or an actual sequel but if this is a uh, a remake of it please for the love of god tell me it's just a remake because i'd rather play the remake 
and actually enjoy it than rather the original and they just you know slap the title lords of the fallen this looks so freaking good and and you good over there dude sorry my dog's running in circles you good over there but i love how clean it is i love the freaking decapitation of the one three-headed freaking flying monster that was so good it was so perfect just just the freaking under going from under over freaking swing and i love that i love the fact that they show such good and clean combat where it's not like impossible combat you know what i mean and everything looks so good. You see the detail and rust and nicks and damages on the armor. And you can just see every little bit of detail from the, the boss, the monsters, the, the freaking broken down doors. Everything. It's perfect. So I really got to give these guys props. He's just smiling going, get out of here, dude. I want to know what's going on right here. What are all these bugs going and doing on him? Oh, that's so freaking cool. Why didn't they have that in the original game? Unless this is a sequel and saying, oh yeah, this lantern will bring you back to life. Only a certain percentage, though. They're going to get you with that. They're going to get you with that so freaking bad. Saying like, oh yeah, it'll resurrect you. And, or that's a save point from a checkpoint or something along those lines. You know what's going to happen. It's like, oh, would you like to get resurrected? 10%, 15% tops. And I already have a feeling that's what it's going to be. It's like, oh, no, 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 it'll resurrect you. Yeah, barely. Or it'll be a checkpoint spot. And every time you die, that's where the lantern is. But, I mean, I'm only hoping. I'm only speculating. But it's and that was a cool little bit right there. This guy's going, I'm ready to go again. Let's go. That's a nice cliffhanger. Is he going to make it out of there? The Lords of the Fallen. Wishlist now. Oh my god, dude, that looks so good. It looks so good. The first game can't even hold a candle compared to this. It was the, the first game was good. This is fantastic. It really is. It was fast paced, a lot of detail, great combat, a little bit of mystery, uh, a little bit of mystery on some things. I loved it. Cannot freaking express how much I like this game. And I really hope it's uh, coming out soon. I'll buy it, I'll play it, and I'm getting booped by my dog. But if you guys enjoyed my reaction, you guys enjoyed what I have to think about this, and you agree with me, great. Let me know in the comments section, or let me know what your theory is, what's going on in this game, if it's a sequel, pre-sequel, or whatnot. Let me know in the pre uh, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you guys enjoyed my reaction, my commentary, please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and bell notification on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and support me. That'd be greatly appreciated. Every subscriber does an immense amount of support and it also boosts my confidence to make more videos like this. And as always, I'm Mystic from Mystical Tomes. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Eat healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Yeah.